Hello and welcome to uh, the short video where I'm going to show the my implementation of the Helios software program for running your instrument display or cockpit with DCS 810C. I'm just running into a target now just to start off with, to have a look at taking out the first target, an easy pair of trucks that are just sat still waiting to be killed really. I do have the Thrustmaster Hotas which does make things a lot easier. Just locking that target up now on the right MFCD. and top hat rifle okay this profile that I've devised for Helios runs on a uh, 1920 by 1080 touchscreen as you can see below my iFinity setup. Now that's the target gone. <coughs> the objective is of course to to give you a fixed uh, cockpit panel um, whilst you're able to look out through the head-up display view uh, without any airframe in the way uh, through the Ifinity screens ahead. Okay, we'll zoom in now and have a look at the, the full panel of uh, Helios. Uh, I've tried hard to make it look exactly as it does in the sim. A lot of the uh, textures are copied straight from the sim. But one of the first things you might note or did note on the uh, Ifinity display is there's no upfront control. That's easily rectified by a pull down panel I activate here. And then the upfront panel is fully operative with um, this um, upfront control here. Stowing is a simple matter of pressing in the same position. Now, most people will be familiar with the NFCDs left and right, and uh, they're all fully operative uh, from just pressing the touch screen. Of course, what's not represented here are the, the, the rest of the panels and consoles in the aircraft, but they can be pulled up as well. A touch to the left of the undercarriage panel here brings up the radio console. In the top left is the IFF, which is not truly functional in the uh, sim at the moment, although it's possible it may be in future uh, updates, so uh, I have included it. Um, below it is the emergency flight control panel and that functions as per the sim. VHF AM is on the top here and that all functions correctly including the presets. Below it is the UHF and you can change the presets. You can even lift up the flap and load your own presets um, in here. Uh, also the VHF AM at the lower section there, that's fully functional. I stow that with a touch in the same area. Uh, the left console, there's a lot on here. The emergency brake, which isn't at the moment uh, part of the sim, uh, but I believe it is going to be uh, made functional in a later uh, update. The auxiliary lighting panel, the full fuel panel, including the fuel Morning, flap. For some reason that drops the autopilot out, which I'll put back in. It's the seat arming I've just disarmed. You'll notice that the master caution comes up here as well as uh, uh, would be on the upfront control. 
Uh, I've included this means of switching it off to save you having to press more than uh, more than necessary to uh, to cancel the caution. Has a fully functioning intercom control panel. KY58. The anti-G suit uh, is a bit of a placeholder for uh, anything else that might be introduced. And the stall and um, peak performance volumes uh, function too. Stow that same way as before, just press where I pressed originally. Have a uh, tizzle panel that comes up by uh, selecting it here and auxiliary landing gear extension is functional as well. Moving over to the right console, there's quite a lot on the right console. All the switches on the electrical power, in fact all the switches you see before you uh, work as normal, including the TACAN frequency change in both the inner and outer uh, rings change on the TACAN. Similarly with the ISS, uh, sorry, ILS and with the, um, the compass synchronizing panel. Not room enough there to include the internal and external lighting, so that's included on a separate panel. I can bring up the CDO and master warning by pressing to the right here. And uh, I'll just go back and do that again. I'll change that panel to there. And then you'll see that when I bring up the CDU panel, it actually automatically changes over to the CDU repeater in the right MFCD, so that then you can see what you're actually entering. Fully functioning master caution panel there as well. I also have hidden in the top right hand corner, I won't press in there because it will close down the profile, but a means of shutting down the profile should you need to. Well, I almost forgot, up in the top left, a uh, representation of a ring binder there for maps and charts, and this particular panel has been developed by a combination of people. Uh, SHU77 did the uh, initial uh, charts, I believe, and a chap called Icebreaker turn them into a panel for Helios, so most useful it is too. You can select both the airfield chart and it also gives you a, a map to show you roughly where the airfields are within the area. Well I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at my implementation of Helios. Uh, it's a marvellous program made by software uh, SC Simulations. Uh, it's it's uh, donationware, so if you're interested, please visit their site and uh, have a look further. Thank you.